Yo guys, what's going on? It's me, KLV, and in today's video, I want to talk about a couple of things. So, for starters, I want to be talking about how to level up quick, and I also want to talk about how to improve at your game. I've had a couple of people say that I'm cheating, um, I play, I literally play on Xbox all the time, and I don't think you can cheat on Xbox, so I'm gonna, I'll show the message on the screen. I'm going to obviously blank out the name and all that because I don't want to give everyone's details out, but basically, on how to improve it's really really simple to be honest now it's kind of difficult to say on how to improve because if you do improve you're not going to feel the improvement because you're going to get put with people that are that skill so if i improve the game i'm just going to get put with people that are better now i get quite try hard lobbies sometimes sometimes i don't because everyone has a bad game everyone has a good game and sometimes i'd have a good a good game then i'll get put in a really really bad lobby and then yeah so it's it's complicated because of the skill based matchmaking but basically on how to get better is know what weapons are good okay that's a really good one is know what weapons are good don't be running around using some crappy weapon for example uh the D uh, the dmr or the type 63 now they're not, they're not crap they're just not the best in that category unlike the m16 and the org they're just not the best in that category so know which what what just know which weapons are good and which weapons are bad next is know what sensitivity that you're comfortable with where you can get a lot of uh be able to hit your target at the same time be able to turn quite quickly now i play on a 10 i normally switch this from 11 to a 9 or or sometimes i switch to a 12 but 10 is like a perfect spot and uh yeah some people might go different i know my dad plays on a six and yeah some some people are different so Try and mess around with your sensitivity to see which one you are perfect with. Obviously, the higher the sensitivity, the better. If you can basically control that high sensitivity, then it's going to be really, really good for you. Because if someone's uh, killing you from the back and you can just quickly turn around and kill them, then obviously it's a lot more better. So having it like a low sensitivity is not always the best. You want to find the middle range of it. Well, for me, it's 10. I can turn quickly. And uh, yeah. Next is the ADS stick movement. Now, I have this because basically when you aim in, you don't want to aim like really slow. You want to still be able to have that fast um, movement while aiming because obviously I have a 10 sensitivity. Uh, next is I like to play with a 95 field of view. Now, field of view is really, really good for the simple fact that if you have a high field of view, you can see more on your screen. Now, this kind of shows quite a bit right here on the picture. That on a 60 field of view you can see a little bit now on the 60 field of view you cannot see past the actual box on 80 you can see past the box basically the higher the field of view the more you can actually see around you uh, i play on a 95 because that is just a perfect one for me and uh, yeah next is a turn off motion blur so it is really really good to turn off motion blur it is so annoying motion blur is i highly recommend it because if you look on these pictures right here that it actually does show if you are turning really quick and that motion blur is on it can like not help at all and it can make you think like it just hurts your eyes it hurts my eyes with motion blur on i hate it that's why i turn it off because i can see a lot more better and clearer clearer while motion blur is off it's a really good one to have off uh, next one is just to practice now you could practice in bots or whatever uh, if you practice in bots i recommend don't do recruit bots because you're not really practicing there do like a regular harden around that area if you're practicing on bots trying to get your aim better and uh yeah so next with ars i want to just say that if you're going through them at long range kills don't just spray the ar don't just spray it just tap it a little bit just tap it a little bit or three round burst it or something like that don't just spray like mad because you're gonna miss a couple of your shots right so now i want to talk about on how to level up quick so leveling up quick is really really simple i also want to just talk about on how leveling works and everything because some people don't know how leveling works I had a couple of people message me and say how does leveling work or that i think it's just because i'm a higher level and they want to know on how it works so when you start the game you'll be level one you go all the way up to 55 and then Basically, what it would do then once you get to 55, it was automatically prestige you when you can prestige. So you get to all 55, and then when you basically level up again, you'll be prestige or automatically prestige. Well, I think it's personally really good. 
and you also don't lose any of your class setups as well what is really really nice you don't lose anything you just have a new logo and you get tier skips you get a prestige shop key what well, prestige shop keys are really really cool because you can obviously when you get to prestige master you could use all of these logos because when you get to prestige 7 you'll be able to use every single one of these you'll be able to use any single one you want to use what well, in my opinion is really 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 cool uh, next obviously you got the legacy calling cards so you can use the og calling cards in the game what in my opinion is really really nice to have they're obviously probably going to implement more into the game into the future you also got the prestige master calling cards that you can get you've got the prestige ones basically a lot of the og stuff is into the game now like modern warfare stuff what i cannot wait and uh, apparently they're going to implement uh, modern warfare prestige logos now i'm not 100 sure if that's true but if they do that is going to be a banger that is going to be a banger but yeah so what would happen is when you prestige you'll go from a certain to, so, for, so for me it's prestige 3 to prestige 7 now i'm not 100 percent sure on what level you have to get to if you're basically get to prestige 1 i don't know what level you have to get to to prestige master because if you see here for me prestige 3 once i get to level 200 that is my prestige master so what would happen is every 50 levels you will then have prestige again and level 200 is prestige master now i don't know if you would have to get to level 300 if you're like just starting out new um because obviously i'm already prestige 3 from the uh, like season zero you could say from the previous season i got to prestige 3 so it will, re it will reset me to prestige 3 to level 1 then i'll have to go from level 1 to 200 so i my guess is if you are starting new and you would have to get to prestige you would have to get to level 300 you'd have to get to level 300 that's my guess that's my guess because basically every level for every 50 levels is a new prestige and yeah you just basically just keep going to a thousand basically well in my opinion i actually really like this system in my opinion because it just makes it a lot more easier instead of like especially with the automatically prestige in you because instead of having to say for example you prestige and the game is like just started you just needed like a couple more kills you're, all, you're already going to be getting that XP to your next level. What, in my opinion, is actually a really, really good thing they've done. It's a lot more better than Modern Warfare system. It's kind of similar, but it's a lot more better, in my opinion. So, with leveling up, okay? Really, really, really simple. Really, really simple. So, for starters, do your challenges. Do these challenges. So, if you see here, on if you go to your challenges or your multiplayer zombies, or your campaign i don't know if you can get any xp for campaign campaign ones but basically where it says one two and three at the bottom they are the ones that you have nearly completed so if you see here i've nearly done the nosebreaker one and i just need one more nosebreaker kill so this will give me a thousand xp when double xp is on you that will be two thousand and so on this is only tier two so i'll probably get more for the next tier really really simple make sure you do these challenges and get an xp i'm probably going to finish out this one today and uh, yeah, that's really, really another simple one. Next is weapon levels. When it, cause sometimes it would have double XP and double weapon XP. When them two things are combined, it, you can get a lot of, lot of XP. So for example, on this gun right here, I still need to level this up, but what would happen is every time you level up a gun, you will also get XP for leveling that gun up and getting a new attachment and all that. So because you get XP, that XP will be doubled. So basically when it's weapon XP and double XP, you're going to get tons of XP for the simple fact that you're going to be leveling up your weapon really, really quick. That XP that you get from that level is obviously doubled. And when you when that le weapon level is up upgraded, you'll get XP for leveling it up and that. Yeah, so really, really simple on there. Next is camo challenges. So camo challenges is really, really simple. So if you, I've been going for Dark Aether and I've, kind of got dark ether but it's kind of glitched on some weapons i don't have it like it's it's unlocked on stuff that I have gold now like i don't have smgs fully gold uh, if you can see here i've not got some of the camos but i have dark ether equipped basically i just have to get the guns gold now and then i can permanently unlock it but basically do your camo changes you'll get xp from them in my opinion zombie camo changes are the easiest as you see here get 250 kills with the weapon you get critical kills which is basically headshots what do take a long time they do take a long time for sure but there's other stuff as well uh kills with pack of punch weapons uh, the elite kills 
um, get 10 kills rapidly really really simple and you can get these done really really quick uh, if you're in a party obviously more zombies are going to come so you're going to have more xp on your weapons and everything there so that's a really good one to do next one is play playlists in the game that are like a small map so for example nuketown nuketown is a really good one to do i've got like a, day, a full two days nearly played on nuketown because obviously nuketown is the smallest map and you're gonna be able to get more kills the more kills you get the more xp you're gonna get same with weapons if you're leveling up a weapon the more, more kills you get with that weapon the more xp you're gonna get for that weapon and obviously for yourself now really really simple on that it's just basically leveling up your weapons or that the next thing is with score streaks now score streaks kind of can play a bit in this so at the moment i'm running uav canter uav and the harp and the reason why i'm running these kill streaks is because i can get a, get assists so because my skill a lot of people do end up getting a lot of kills so having these kill streaks are really really funny because now this is why it's funny is because i can get a lot of xp from having these two up because you'll get them assist from other people getting kills so if i have the uav up that will last i think i think uav lasts for about 30 seconds and if you're playing like hard point or domination i'm going to talk about hard point in this one so if i have a uav and can uav up okay and the enemies on on that hard point if someone has a war machine for example and just clears that all that out all that xp that he got from a kill i'll get some of that xp i think you get like 10 xp or something like that it's quite a small amount but it's just that additional xp that makes it count so it is really really important to have these because obviously you don't have to have them if you don't want to if you want to go for high kills uh use whatever what, what you want but having these is really really good because one you get the uav and can uav quite often in the game even though there is a 90 second cooldown on the uav what is unfortunate but again yeah it, there's a cooldown on them what is it really bad but yeah this is what everyone would do in the previous cards like black ops 4 that's what i did in black ops 4 and 3 is i'll just run uav can uavs and they, they basically just give you a lot of um additional xp you don't get tons but it's just that little bit of xp that makes it count it's just that little bit more xp that makes it count in the game next is just basically the tokens now the tokens are really quite good in the game at the moment i can't obviously use them at the moment uh, because obviously double weapon xp is already on so there's no point really using it and i'm trying to pull it up but my thumbsticks broke so i kind of can't show you but basically this will give you these will give you double xp and double weapon xp when there actually isn't an event going on and you can actually get these from the call of duty app if you don't have the call of duty app basically it is really simple you just go to the app store get the call of duty companion app and these are actually really really good because the reason why is because you can enter like into these like tournaments now if you're in a squad you can enter a tournament and at the moment it's the battle royale one and the rewards that you can get is you can get an exclusive card in this one you can get 30 minutes of double xp and yeah just basically you can get 30 minutes of double xp as a card and you can that is for first second and third place so make sure you do have a good team for it uh, we didn't actually do it with any of them because it was a war zone one but yeah you can get double xp cards from that so i highly recommend getting the call your companion app and joining a squad doesn't matter what squad you are but make sure you do them because it is really good also i believe you get a card every um, on a weekly basis anyway that they put in so yeah they are basically my ways on how to level up quick in this game i know this video has been a quite a long game a uh, long video but yeah if you guys did enjoy this video and or if this video helped you make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel It'd be very much appreciated i've got some videos coming very soon what is going to be very fun and it's uh, some very sweaty games i'm not gonna lie very sweaty games really good gameplays i've literally got them saved i just haven't been editing because i've been try hard in like mad recently i've just been try hard in my like mad been getting the gameplays though but i've just not been editing because for the simple fact double xp i wanted to get to 150 now i'm at 150 videos are going to come out a lot more often because i've got to a level that i basically wanted to get to so anyway if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel and uh, yeah see you guys later peace out